welcome back new friends! It's your channel, Adelaire Arts, and today we will be drawing something stupid! Love drawing stupid stuff! <laughs> now, today we will be drawing a burger buddy. Basically, a burger buddy is just a regular plain old burger, or with anything that you want on it. And he's gonna have a face. Any, any face that you want. He could have arms, he could have feet, he could have wings, he could just basically be whatever you want him to be. So today I will be drawing my burger buddy with feet and eyes. No mouth, no hands, just feet and eyes. Because, I don't know, it just seems more stupid than just drawing random stuff on a burger. So I'm going to be using a mechanical pencil, thin art marker, and a peppermint for a energy snack, which help with headaches. So if you have a headache, go eat a peppermint and you will feel better. Otherwise, just take a nap. But let's get started on our drawing, which in this part of the speed drawing, I will basically be just sketching out the line art that I want for the burger, anything that I want to keep on the burger, and anything that I don't want to keep on the burger, I just won't draw or I won't ink with the thin ink pen. So enjoy. of my burger buddy I did not want to draw claws or toes or anything too complicated so uh, just drew some just drew some stubs just cute little stubs cute little stubs kind of poking out and a little back heel just for him to have some balance it was really cute I like the way it came out and just how simple it was just because of how cartoony I wanted this to be and so I didn't really put enough like emphasis on the feet and I just kind of kept them cartoony and just like puffy so I kept them like that and then I thought they were cool had a tough time with the front left one because it didn't want to um, be the same line as the other one so I had a little tough time rounding them out but it was good and I actually like the way that they came out
for the erasing. Today we are going to be using a three pack eraser set that I bought from Michaels with my coupons. Um, I actually do like buying stuff from Michaels. So if you want to go get some good art supplies, go there. They have good discounts and stuff like that. If you sign up for a membership, I'm not sponsored, but if I ever was, shout, shout your girl out to Michaels. But <laughs> these erasers do help me a lot. They have the long rectangular ones and then they have a kind of seafoam green one and then a small little white square one. So today we're gonna be using the small white square one just because I don't need the entire rectangular one because I'm just gonna be dragging it and kind of like erasing and I need small corners. So I'm just gonna be um, using this one for the line art and then anything that I wanna erase off of the burger. It was also kind of hard to open it because it had like a weird little wrapping around it, but I got around it. It was, it was cool, we had no problem. But it's very smooth to the touch and it's very small, pocket sized, you can carry it anywhere and it worked really well on the paper. It doesn't smudge and I appreciated using it. I would also just like to add in to like, comment and subscribe to the channel if you are new and turn on the post notification bell. Remember, like this video and you will get one of these cookies. Yeah, they're really good. So remember, like the video. So after all that erasing, we are going to use a thin ink marker, a small one that I normally carry around with me when I have my medium and small journals. I am also going to be using a black brush nib Copic marker that was $12. Yeah, we're gonna be using a lot of this in this sketchbook. Um, and I also had the little um, smaller thin ink marker, but it's not really that important just because it bled through my sketchbook and I'm going to annihilate it after this video. So basically with this thin ink marker, I just did an outline of the burger and kind of traced around everything. With the Copic um, brush tip marker, I'm not going to be tracing the inside lines. So this thin ink marker is going to be for the inside lines and the outside lines just so I know where the black um, marker is going to go. But for the black Copic brush nib marker, I am going to be only outlining the outside. So the inside will be thin lines and the outside will be thick kind of puffy lines. So as I said on this part, I will be giving a thicker outline to the burger just as the cartoony feeling like when you're watching something on TV and you see the thick outline or when you see somebody drawing a character and you have like the thick white outline or the thick black outline or whatever color it is. And I just wanted to give that to emphasize the colors that will be on this burger because I learned that giving a dark background or a dark outline to something can really make the colors pop so I just wanted to do that for my little burger buddy. And who's ready for brush tip color markers because we know I am. 
um, I will basically be using your basic burger colors, just yellow, red, green, and brown, beige, all the lovely colors. But there was one thing that happened during the process of drawing. If you could already tell, it is the eyeball of the burger. I did not want to record that. And yes, I know there is a scratch on the eyeball of the burger. I was recording that and during the process, trust me, when I realized that there was a scratch on the burger, I I, I had to edit that whole part out because I was just flailing around and like cussing and just, I was being so ungodly. So I had to cut that whole part out and basically just focused on the other things like the meat, the lettuce, cheese, and the tomato. So I basically did three colors for the meat, which was kind of weird because I did a lighter brown, medium brown, and a darker brown. The darker brown kind of blended with the medium brown, but once I started using it more, it came out. And the yellow, green, and red really helped the burger pop. So I hope you all enjoy that. Oh, and I also wanted to add to the left of me you could obviously tell there's a window and while I was drawing this cute little dog came I don't know whose dog it is but this cute little dog came and I just wanted to record it for y'all oh my gosh I don't know whose dog that is but bye little buddy I don't I, I don't know whose dog that is but he, he was very cute but let, let's get back to the video So I started to finish up the brown on my burger and we are now going to the green. This green is more like a nature leafy green, which I used for just the base coat of the lettuce. Obviously you could see that there is a limer. Yeah, I'll say limer. I'll, I'll say lime. No, I'll keep that in there. Yeah, I'll keep that in there. There is a limer green in that I am using right now. We are going to keep that on here. Comment Limer down below if you actually got this far and heard that. Um, but there's a more colorful green that is just a little bit more yellow pigmented, I should have said that, that I used for kind of the lighter coats of the green to blend with the nature green. And then I used the darker green thin part on the other side and just basically added a couple of details. Along with the tomatoes, I started out with a kind of orange um, color, kind of pinkish orange, and then I moved on to a darker red, which I would like to call it ketchup red, which is funny because tomatoes, ketchup, you know the whole thing. And I added little red seeds to it and it actually came out really cute. I had little veins coming out of the seeds and stuff like that, it was nice. And then we get to move on to our cheese, which was, kind of weird because I didn't want it to be the same color as the bun so I added that lighter yellow and then I added a highlight yellow and then I went back to a gray for the feet the shadow back of the feet not the whole entire foot and then I just kind of added a little shadow for my burger buddy because he's standing and looking at the light of the window where the dog was so that was really fun and then his little blush blots and he just came out so cute and just I loved him. I just loved him so much. And then the little burger details, not sesame seeds, but just like the little ticks and nicks that you get in burger buns. And I think he really came out cute. I liked him and I hope you did too.
we are finally at the end of the video and the results of the Burger Buddy are in. He is very vibrant. He is giving. He's, he's giving eat me. He's giving curiosity. He's giving I have feet. He's giving I am life. So we love Burger Buddy. And we are going to add my little signature at the end. We can never forget that. Never, never forget that, actually. Um, little sketchbook tip if you're drawing in your sketchbook, even if it is your sketchbook, remember to put your signature in it because people can still take pictures of it. But I'm very happy that y'all came on this journey with me and my little burger buddy. I appreciate and love all of you. Hope you all have a great day, night, midday. I will see you whenever I see you, I guess. Thank <laughs> you.